You really must learn to finish the job. Tis true that a gaudy mirror and a handful of crystals make for a feeble summoning. But even the weakest icon is a god of sorts. A threat that must be put down. My, my! Such hostility! These beings are the sworn enemies of the Empire. I merely did my duty as an Imperial officer. Will you surrender to anger then? Slay an anointed emissary to avenge a fallen foe? You cannot, of course. To do so would burn the bridges we have labored so hard to build. Oh, but I'm forgetting. They're already ash. This Dorman woman has seen to that. The Empire cannot ally itself with any nation that refuses to renounce summoning. I believe I was most clear on that point. <laughs> it should have been mine. The power he bestowed upon her. I should have been the one to govern Dorma. I would have repaid his faith. No one alive loves him more than I. Instead, this harlot betrayed his trust. Useless piece of filth! Worthless whore! you, dear brother, for this precious gift. Vengeance. These people, our people, they ignore the corruption which festers beneath the surface. Cast aside that which is dirty and broken. Speak not of things which would disrupt their dreary little lives. Like you, Asahi. Always pretending not to see. You were the first. The first I swore to kill. You should feel honored, dear brother. I saved the last of my strength just for you. What's the matter? The Witch of Dorma will soon be dead.
He will mourn to you, perhaps. I wonder... Was the fruit as sweet... as he remembered? Zenos. I am at your disposal. Asai, you were born of Doma. Yes? Yes, my lord. I am honored that you would remember me. How may I serve? You are hereby appointed Ambassador Plenipotentiary, and empowered to speak with the voice of the Emperor. Return to your native land of Doma, and announce your intention to sue for peace. For peace? Once negotiations are underway, you are to locate the acting Viceroy. She lives? Uh, that is to say, I will, my lord. When you have found her, you will initiate a ritual to call forth an icon. I will instruct you in the necessary steps. Yotsuyu's faith is unreliable. But as a child raised to believe in the kami, she will serve as a vessel for one of the Kojin's gods. She need only wish it to be so. The power will seem a gift, but the icon's essence will consume her. She will be no more than a husk, a slave to whim and desire. My lord, ever since the day you saw fit to save my miserable life, I have dreamed of repaying your benevolence. Upon my honor, I swear to devote myself wholly to your service. All that you command will be done, no matter the cost. But... but... I fear the subtleties of your plan yet elude me. From the reports I have heard, the champion who aids the Dolmen Resistance would make short work of a single icon. The icon is merely a message. The pacifist teachings of the popularis spread through this city like a plague. And I would remind the people of the threat we face. You will be my chosen agent. The hand which tolls the warning bell. The salvation of this world will not be won through the signing of treaties. Your chosen agent. I will not fail you, my lord. My... My... Master... <laughs> lord... Xenos... He will come for you. <laughs> hmm. 
You have prevailed, I see. She is gone. Wherefore did the Kami spare us, only to inflict this pain? Death shall not want for company this day. You spared us a worse disaster, but I fear our fledgling peace with the Empire was beyond saving. Lord Hien! Maxima, is it not? I assumed you long fled. I entertain thoughts of escape even now, but our negotiations have yet to reach a satisfying conclusion. The Ambassador insisted that the summoning spelled an end to our mission here, but it seemed to me there was more to the tale. I have heard tell of this power you wield, and in your vision, you witnessed Lord Xenos giving these orders. How can that be? Xenos is dead. He took his own life after the battle in Alamigo. I saw his body with my own eyes. Forgive me, but Lord Xenos is very much alive. He granted our party an audience prior to our departure. That he was gravely wounded is certain, but his recovery appeared to be proceeding apace. I'm afraid I share Lord Hien's confusion. The man's death was confirmed and his remains interred. These are matters of public record. Hmm. I have no doubt you believe what you say. But what then is the explanation? That an imposter has infiltrated the innermost circle of the Imperial court? The idea is inconceivable, absurd. But worthy of investigation nonetheless. Our movement can ill afford to have a highly placed pretender undermining our efforts. Your efforts may yet bear fruit. Tell me, what is to become of our prisoner exchange? Though we have already taken custody of our conscripts, we have yet to release your Imperial comrades. Do you still intend to collect them? Ah, uh, uh, yes. As the late Ambassador's second in command, it falls to me to speak on the Empire's behalf. And I'm happy to confirm our intent to proceed according to the original agreement. Then let us be about it. It would be a pity to abandon such a promising beginning. Indeed. You have my thanks, Lord Hien. As soon as our people are secure aboard our airship, we shall depart straightways for Garlemald. Tread lightly, Pylos. I sense treachery awaits you there. Might I accompany you to the capital? Alphano, have you gone mad? Imposter or no, if Xenos was instructing Asahi on the finer points of ritual summoning, then experience tells us there is an Asian waiting in the wings. Without our knowledge and expertise, our new friends will be hard pressed to contend with a foe for whom death is but a minor inconvenience. They need our help. Were you indeed willing to share your knowledge of this enemy, we would not shun your counsel. You truly mean to do this? In full knowledge of the danger? I have seen the Warrior of Light risk her life on countless occasions. Next to her, I'm scarce more than a distraction on the battlefield. But 
but in the meeting room or the audience chamber, there I can make a difference. I can strike bargains, forge ties, and change minds. And where better to do these things than in the home of our old enemy? It is not for me to stop you, but I would have you consider an alternative arrangement. Rather than braving the Empire as a simple traveler, go forth as an emissary of Dorma. Such a position should offer you some measure of protection. Go then. You've obviously made up your mind. Just try not to do anything reckless, all right? I shall be on my best behavior. Farewell, my friends. How often have I imagined this moment? Thank you for helping it come to pass. There you are. Gosetsu, your hair. My friend, what have you done?
An old man who cannot raise his blade has no place in the service of a young lord. Thus did I decide to devote my remaining days to pilgrimage. I will walk this land, offering prayers of repose for all the souls who left this life in suffering. All of them? <laughs> A fulsome farewell makes for an enjoyable journey. Scarcely have we said our goodbyes to Alphano, and you leave us too. But, tis well that my companions find their own way forward. I must endeavor to do the same. I have faith that you will find the best path for Dorma without me, my lord. Pray forgive me this last act of selfishness, and grant me your blessing. You have earned it a thousand times over. Go in peace, my friend. I shall make of Doma a land where children laugh, and none need live in fear. There is no better way to honor those who went before. And with that, I take my leave. <laughs>